Saturn's moon, Titan, has really made researchers curious. Titan is Saturn's largest moon. It's actually the second largest moon in the solar system. And it's the only moon in the solar system that has a large and substantial atmosphere. Pretty amazing to find something this Earth-like 800 million miles away. Titan is the only other object besides the Earth in our solar system that has liquid on its surface. The giant moon is undeniably wet. These are the images we're bringing back. These regions, these dark regions we now know, are liquid. Titan is the only planetary body besides Earth that we know has lakes. One of the most shocking discoveries of the past 10 years is how much the landscape of Saturn's moon Titan resembles Earth. It has a hydrological cycle, much like the Earth, of evaporation, condensation, rain. That cycle that we're so familiar with is going on right now in this moon, Titan. And if you have water, then uh, those are two of the ingredients that uh, you need for life. Like our own blue planet, the surface of Titan is dotted with lakes and seas. It has river channels, islands, mud, rain clouds, and maybe even rainbows. Titan might provide a habitat for life if scattered sources of heat from geysers or volcanoes are discovered. On Saturn, we have internal heat deep down. And it's being powered by processes that are happening deep into the atmosphere of Saturn. Back in 1980, when Voyager 1 flew by Titan and made the first close encounter with that moon, it discovered many new chemical species in the atmosphere. What it shows us is there's some bizarre physics going on on Saturn. Life on Saturn's moon Titan. Asterisk? I don't know, man. Science has always taught me if you have a giant body of liquid, and I mean giant, and I mean body, and I mean liquid, you're going to have life. Get it? Got it. Good. All right. Not telling you to believe this or not to believe this, except I'm saying believe that there is other life in our solar system they're not telling us about. All right. You got that clear? Features on Titan's surface appear. The ridges have intricate structures that tell stories about their past. The Huygens probe descended toward one of these ridges. Some regions were imaged with high resolution just before Huygens landed on Titan, especially the area to the west of the landing site. Most of Titan's surface is covered by dark organics that are produced in the atmosphere and slowly settle down. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents... I French love science. It rains on Titan way more than we thought, bro. Astronomy.com. Methane rain falls on Titan's stinky plane. Methane rain falls on Titan's North Pole from cloud the skies. And they like to tell you that it's stinky, so you won't be interested in it. Because if they start talking about methane, you start thinking about farts. And unless it's yours, you don't, probably don't like them that much. It's a guess. Cassini's observations. And Cassini is gone, by the way. But should live on in our hearts. Fake or real, Cassini observations of Saturn's largest moon uncovered evidence of rainfall. Ushering in its northern summer. See, it's got seasons. It's got weather. It's got rain. It's got ducks, fish, birds people. All right, we don't know that for sure. But the poetic slash screenwriter half of me firmly believes that I trained in combat on Titan. That's how I'm so much of a champion. Science Daily. Evidence of changing seasons. Seasons change. Tables turn. Rain on Saturn's moon. Titan's North Pole. Man, can you imagine if we were interested in this stuff? Like Titan is a hundred times more interesting than Mars. Venus is a hundred times more interesting than Mars. And they got a hundred robots and doohickeys on Mars. Why is the world so weird? Fresh rainfall on Saturn's huge moon Titan, spotted in NASA photo. This is brought to us by Space.com. Yeah, dude, lightning, those look like lakes, and it's filled with lakes. Here's something you won't see every day. A glint of freshly fallen rain on the surface of an alien world. Cassini discovered numerous lakes and seas of liquid hydrocarbons on Titan's frigid surface during the probe's pioneering 13 years in the Saturn system. I think it's funny when people are like, Everything NASA says is fake, but then they believe in politics. All right, the times, they are changing, and the solar system is a mystery. People freak out when you talk about Saturn, because they say that's where Satan comes from, or lives. I don't know, I view Saturn as neutral, kind of like the iPhone or technology. Depends on how you use it. Saturn's like time. Who knows, though, man? It's like the strongest mythology. If you want to believe Thor is a woman, go right ahead. You know, rare rains on Titan. Even though there are lakes of, and rivers of liquid hydrocarbons on the surface of Saturn's moon Titan, the rains that feed them come few and far between. Wait, what? Everything is so weird. 
Rain on Titan? It sounds bizarre. What, rain on another planet slash moon? No, not really. But scientists have observed a complex cycle of liquid on Titan, with lakes and rivers and clouds and rain that must feed them. But we're not talking about water. See, you gotta know the energy companies are interested. You gotta know that scientists are interested. And you gotta know they don't always tell us everything. Once in a thousand years. That's what she said. While the weather system on Titan is similar to Earth, man, geez louise, you know? This stuff's fascinating. It probably has some significant differences. But their kittens are cuter. Ah, I made that up. Which Cassini observations have hinted at. Geez louise, man. Although there were possible storms seen in 2004, there was a huge gap until 2010. After the storm, the surface of Titan was changed with a large, darkened area that could indicate saturation of liquid on the surface. These ponds seem to dry up in future observations. And it's not backed up with a whole lot of data we get to see, unfortunately. Estimates indicate that regions near Titan's pole see rainfall for 10 to 100 hours every Titan year. But the drier parts of the moon might not see more than a single rainfall every thousand years. On Earth, liquid water is necessary for life as we know it to survive. But this is not Earth. This is Saturn and its moon Titan. Scientists have hypothesized about a unique life on Titan. Yeah, me too. I'm pretty sure there are aliens there. There are probably aliens all over our solar system. And they're the ones who are running our anti-humanity social networking and media establishment. They're probably stealing our oil and all our resources. And then they're going to like freeze us like popsicles and eat us like an appetizer. I hope not. It'd be weird if they just turned Earth into a TV dinner. And then the aliens would be like, well, you eat animals. Why can't we eat you? And I'd be like, oh, okay, but uh, why the heck are you guys so mean? Whether you're human or alien, you don't have to be so mean, man. You know? And if scientists want to understand how liquids on Titan are cycled, it's a step towards determining whether or not the strange moon could be habitable. Or it's already habitated, and they're sending radio waves to us. Yeah, who knows. With 17 hours left, in February's Save Thor News Raise Rent fundraiser, I got about $275 to raise through your wonderful contributions and donations. Although, man, I love prayers, too, or just kind words. Anything that helps in this never-ending spiritual warfare for the truth and unity. So if you want to and can support Thor News, it would be greatly appreciated. If not, I just appreciate the fact that you're here learning. I'll leave my PayPal link in the information box. Wish me luck. 2019 is definitely a cliffhanger every single day. Almost hourly sometimes. All right, everybody stay cool. Peace out. God bless everyone. The one of the most intriguing is the moon orbiting the planet Saturn named Titan. There's definitely life here.